All right, hello everyone. So, thought I'd do a quick walkthrough of translating pseudocode that has function calls in it. All right. So now we're going to need to use the stack. And in a nutshell, we're probably going to split it into a caller perspective and a callee perspective. And so we'll start with the caller perspective. And the convention is the caller is going to push the arguments on a stack. Yes. Make it explicit. More like your homework. Um, but yeah, we're going to push the argument onto the stack and then we're just going to jump subroutine to, to the to the callee. The callee is going to calculate everything and it's going to leave the answer right at the top of the stack for you. And you can treat it as a black box. You don't have to worry about how it does it, but from a caller perspective, don't worry about it. Okay, so we'll start. We'll have to get or end into a register. Okay. Now we're gonna have to put that end onto the stack by pushing it on. Do that by moving the pointer up by one. This allocates space for our parameter. Notice this negative one is because it throws in the negative direction. So alright now we can just simply load or store our parameter at the top of the stack. Now we can just call our function jumps cursor sum and like magic we can just assume the answer is right at the top of the stack right there for us to grab so we'll grab it out the stack now we got to clean up the stack a bit so we push two things on the stack um, so we're gonna have to pop those off we need to clean up after ourselves right don't want to litter so do that by popping off the things that push stack you're wondering why it's plus two, it's because the first one comes from storing our end on the stack, and the next one comes from this um, subroutine who left something on the stack for us to take. So once we take it off, we need to also make sure we take the space out for it too. And yeah, that's it. We just now we can store it in our answer. And that's the call or perspective. Okay, so now we have to move on to the callee perspective. And it's a little bit harder, but the general idea is we're going to need to save the state of our caller um, because we're going to have to be overriding the registers because we, we all share the same registers and we're going to need to be calculating our own things. Um, so we'll first have to save the state of our caller. And we call this the stack buildup. And notice it stores the registers and also stores um, important information like the return address and the old frame pointer. That's just for the sake of restoring everything to how it was right before it called our jump, jump subroutine. And with the build up, we also can have a teardown. The teardown is basically taking what you stored and loading it back. So, this is the part that's actually putting. Um, this is the thing that's actually restoring the state. So this is the saving the state. This is restoring the state. And cause the teardown. I'm going to put a label in there for later and you'll see why. All right, so once you have the build up and teardown, now we can just start executing the body. If you're wondering where I got this code, um, you can you can find the build up and teardown code and you can just copy paste it. Um, depends how motivated you are to understand what's actually going on kind of long story but yep all right so we'll start with this line okay so we're gonna need to get our n and I'd like to make this n minus one so we everything needs to be comparison to zero in assembly so how do we get our n so our n is basically this n so where does it come from well, there's a really nice thing about the frame pointer where our first parameter is always going to be located at R5 with offset 4. And this is for every single subroutine. It's going to be the same thing. So, knowing that, we can just load our first parameter n into by using that as a reference R5, 4. So now we have our n in register 0. Subtract by one. 
Okay, and now I want to branch on failure. The opposite of this is positive. So I'll have to branch on positive. Okay, so now the body of this statement, I'm going to have to return n. So how do we return things? Well, there's a spot that we reserve by when we're building up our frame um, for our return values. So our return value should be stored at R5 um, offset 3. And we want to return n. So let's try to get n into a register. R0, 5, plus 4, because n is our first parameter. So I load n into R0 using R5 hashtag 4. And then kind of simply we're going to store it in our return value location. All right, and that's the body. Oh, one more thing. So right after we return anything, we're going to want to branch to tear down because our function is basically over. Now that we found a return value, we just want to restore the state of our collar. So here, I'm just going to branch to tear down. All right, that's it. All right, so next line of code, this thing. Um, so I guess the general plan is we'll get to n and into one register, and we'll get this value in another register and we'll add them together. So I'll start with the n. I know n is at r5 offset 4 because I know n is the first parameter. So this is going to get me n into r0. Now I got to get this thing and it's kind of scary. It's like wording a function now we're calling another function. It's like what's going on? But you don't actually have to think about like the recursion or like the bigger picture. Um, really, we just got to do the same thing we did over here, where we just got to call, just pretend that you're a caller, and then all you got to think about is, okay, I just need to push to n minus 1 on the stack, I need to call this, and then I need to pop it off. Um, and the recursion happens naturally, it's going to just emerge, alright? It's going to emerge out of nowhere, and I'll show you guys later, and complex. So, alright, so let's start with the first thing the caller has to do, which is get n minus 1 and push on stack so r5 and uh, I'm not trying to be clever like oh wait look uh, a couple lines ago I put n and r0 so I don't have to load it again I can just reuse that value nah we don't do that don't do that in this class that's gonna trying to keep track of your old register values is like really really tedious I mean you're it's most likely gonna cause you to mess up somewhere so anytime I need n I'm just gonna load it back I'm not trying to be clever all right Okay, so we got n, I'm going to be at n minus 1, so, okay, now we have n minus 1, we can just push it on the stack, we do that by moving the stack pointer, making some space for it, and then placing it right on the top of the stack, okay, and now we can call our function, and magically this function will calculate the value I need over here. I can, it's a black box, remember, and it's going to leave it perfectly at the top of the stack for me to grab off. So let's grab it off. Okay. And then we'll clean up after ourselves. So we got to pop the two things off the stack. Okay, great. And nice. So we have um, in our first register, register zero, we'll have our n. And in our register one, we have recursive sum n minus one. So now we can just add them together. And now we can just place that in our dedicated return area. So, for five, three. All right, now, now that we got our value in there, we can just branch the teardown. We're basically done. And that's basically how you do the call lead perspective. Okay, so I loaded in complex, and here's our answer location. Let's see what it happens after we run it. And our answer has 6 in it. And that's because it's 3 plus 2 plus 1. So it works like magic, yeah. The recursion just happened naturally. We just followed the callee perspective and we did the caller perspective. We didn't think about it too much and everything just naturally happens. 
Let's see, maybe I'll change this value. Maybe like 10. That runs through. Hey, that looks right to me. 10 plus 9 plus 8. Yep, looks right to me. It's, uh, you can see how it works. Kind of cool. Oh, also, by the way, just in complex, I would do. I click this button every time you're doing a complex code, like make everything a lot cleaner. Um, all those junk ashes go away and stuff, so yeah. Alright, thanks for watching.